Hey folks, this episode is sponsored by City Traders Imperium. Now, what you might not know is CTI has the best funded account conditions up to $2 million, which is the most in the industry. Now, go check out the video I recorded with them to learn more about their incredible package where Trading Nut listeners get an exclusive deal. It includes access to their high performance trader mastermind and funding program. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or above and go check out that video. All right, folks, here we are on Trading Up. We've got Anthony Williams in the house. He's a, we've just actually done a massively awesome podcast that you can go and check out underneath this video here. Uh, he's about to walk us through an exotic trade that he's just uh, done recently. So, Anthony, first of all, welcome to the show. How are things over there in Florida? Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. Can't complain at all. Cool. Well, look, we're going to jump into your screen. We're going to have a look at this yeah. trade. Uh, and there might even be some, uh, some other things that we show at the end of this. So stay tuned for the end of the video. All right, let's do it. All right, so I, I actually trade a lot of exotics. Um, they've always just kind of stuck out to me. And uh, since I'm a daily, you know, I'm a long-term trader, I, I look at all the different time frames. So the so first thing I would do here is just start, you know, diagnosing trends. What do you have here? You know, I see a little something there and then I kind of go through it. You could see that you could classify that. But for me, when it comes to trend lines, I like my trend lines to be like pretty, pretty solid. Um, so let's go down to the die, the daily time frame. So you had a solid trend line here. So what I would be looking for is Next, some major structure, but it also looks like you have some good structure here as well. Let's dive into this. So this is actually, and I don't know what they're called. I just heard people call them, but like order blocks. So a lot of people call these things order blocks. They tend to work. I, I'm pretty sure they're just liquidity zones. That's all they are. It's just liquidity zones. So for a trade like this, I'd be looking for the market to come grab an entry here. And then I'd be taking it to the high side like that. Um, and of course, if it broke this, then you're looking for it to continue to head down probably to this would be my first zone I think right there and would you be um, doing your hedging strategy in this this uh, particular trade in this scenario yes I would so I would look for a buy entry on this lot top line. I put a stop loss down here. So let me go ahead and there you go. And I'll do I'll bring it down for you. Red top one will be green. That's an ugly green. We'll go with the good green. And then this one will be, we'll turn that blue for uh, profits. So I would be looking for something like that. Hey guys, quick message from my sponsor Sage Capital. Now they provide education software and tools needed to increase anyone's ability to trade more successfully. Perfect for people who are either still learning, too busy, or just want to use professional grade strategies to build passive income. They've achieved high returns with relatively low risk and are available for auto copying today. Go to sagecapital.co.uk or click the link above and start auto trading today. So in a trade like this, um, you know, we have obviously the broken of the trend line. You obviously have some type of channel starting to get created here. Um, you know, you could have, you know, you know, some structure here, structure here, structure here, and structure here. Like that. So I'm looking for it to trade inside of this zone until it breaks one of the zones. So I'm looking for a buy entry here. Looking for it to rise up to here, unless it breaks this. And then I'm going to put a sell stop here. This would be my stop loss, maybe even a little bit lower. You could, you could have a stop loss here, but let's play it safe and 
stop loss just there. And then I'm looking for as long as it breaks this zone, closes below, I'm going to trade it to here, to the sell position here. So, but for the most part, my position is looking for a buy. And it could honestly, it could buy here just because of hitting this trend line. But I would not enter until down here. Cool. At least. And is there anything else on these exotics that you recommend somebody look at before they start trading them? Contract size. A lot of them have a lot higher contract size, so they can move really, really fast or really, really crazy. Um, and I mean, that's more of your broker, whatever broker you're using, make sure you have the proper leverage, the proper risk and the proper uh, contract size that fits your account. Because your contract size is like why US 30 you, on some brokers, you can make $10 and other brokers, you make a hundred bucks. It's different contract sizes. They're buying different contracts with the amount of money you're giving them. Cool. Awesome. So, so yeah, that's a good little trade that I that I would be looking for. And what I might do, folks, is go back in the, before this video goes live and see what actually happened and uh, and play that out for you, so you can see at the end of this video what actually happened on that trade. Yeah, that'd be awesome. So, like this one right here, continuation order block. That's what a lot of people call them. I don't really know what it's called. It's just something that I've noticed in the market that does, you know what I mean? But from what I've seen is a lot of people calling them order blocks. So I call, this is like a liquidity zone. Market came up, retraced to the liquidity zone here, head back up to the high. Right there, stop loss here. So this one is a little greater than one to one, but nothing amazing. Nothing amazing, um, but with a broken trend, let me see. Lower time frames. One push, two push, three push. Looking for that push to the downside. Here, if it doesn't, then you're looking for a bounce up. I'm a big believer in don't try and predict the market, react to it. I never try and predict what the market's going to do. I'm just going to react to what the market's going to do. Does that make sense? Yeah. If so there's a, there's a lot of different sort of uh, approaches here, which is mm -hmm. goes back to what you said in the podcast. Uh, so it's interesting to see it sort of play out on a chart here. Yeah. All right, guys. So here we are at the end of the video. I told you I was going to show you something. So this is what it is. So we've got a look at where these trades ended up. Now you can see here, this is the uh, ZAR, USD ZAR trade. And where we're at at this current point in time is it's just entered the zone here. And the entry point that Anthony did identify for us, so he was looking for it to go all the way up here. Uh, if it goes, you're going to have to follow it on the chart. So basically, it didn't come down in the first push. And I think he even said the trend line was coming down here and he may have, well, you could take an entry there, but he said he wouldn't do that. That would have been an earlier entry. That said, it did go up at that trend line. So it's come back down here. It's You're going to have to follow this on your own. Um, so sorry about that, folks. Let's have a look at the AUD example that he gave us as well. So he was on the four-hour chart, and I marked out these levels. So this is where... Uh, we left off, so we had these pushes down, we left off there, price trickled down here to the level that he'd identified, uh, of which it pulled, push kept going further down, and he was saying it was either, either going to go down or was going to bounce up, so it went a bit further down, came back up, maybe he would have got in here at a retest entry, I'm not too sure, but the exit he marked out here was to the, to the spot, so basically it reversed immediately at that point, and went back up. So I don't know if he's going to be looking to go long there or not. But there you go, folks. That's what happened afterwards. Saves you a bit of time going and checking that out on the charts. Let's wrap up the show. Well, look, uh, Anthony, thank you very much for coming on the show, mate. It's been fantastic to see those trades. And guys, if you do want to check out the full podcast we did, which I've got to say is absolutely epic, then there's a link below the video where you can uh, catch that and catch all the links. Now, what is the best way for the guys to get hold of you? uh the best way to get a hold of me will be my instagram underscore anthony's world underscore and also youtube as anthony's world brilliant well look guys do remember uh we've got more videos like this coming up so hit subscribe hit like and hit the notifications bell then click all to be notified when future videos like this go live and we'll see you in the next one